Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Claire Dusigbe. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to convert your website to Android app and iOS app using Flutter. So for this video, we are going to use Android Studio. So quickly, I I'm good. I have already opened my Android Studio, so um, you should do the same if you want to follow along um, this alongside the video. So open your Android Studio for um, this project. So I'm going to click on New Flutter Project. Okay, so for this dialog box, um, what I'm going to do right now is that I'm going to click on Next. Alright, so for our project name, I'm going to enter any name right here since it's just a demo video. So what I'm going to do is that uh, I'm going to uncheck all of this. We don't need it for now. So we only need iOS and Android. So every other thing for the purpose of this demo will be the same. So for you, you can change your um, package name and also the description for your app okay so what i'm going to do right now is that i'm going to click on create button all right so guys if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel please click on the subscribe button and if you like the video click on the like button and you can also turn on the notification bell all right so what we are going to be using to be doing right now is that we are going to use the web view to convert our website um into ios and android app now if you take a look at my pro at my product directory we are going to see um, we have the android folder and we also have the ios folder okay so what we are going to do now is that i'm going to go to my web my web browser then i'm going to type pop.dev so it's going to open the pop.dev website what i'm going to do now is to search for web view i'm going to search for web view all right so i'm going to scroll down a little bit where we have web view underscore flutter i'm going to click on it all right, so I'm going to click on the installing tab and then I'm going to copy the dependencies then I'm going to paste it right on the dependencies so I've copied it I'm going to go I'm going to click on my Android Studio tab and then I'm going to open popspec.yam all right, so I'm going to scroll to where I have my dependencies. I'm going to paste the dependencies that I've copied. All right, so for the purpose of this demo, we are not going to use the 4.0.2. We're going to use 2.0.9. Okay, so you can click here, pop get, or you can go to your terminal, click on your terminal. Okay, so under your terminal, you can type flutter pop get and you press enter on your keyboard. Okay, so I'm going to minimize this our terminal so what i'm going to do right now is that i'm going to go to my main dot that all right so i'm going to um i'm going to import the dependencies and then that will be my web view underscore flutter all right so we don't need all of this code right here so i'm going to clean the code up so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to highlight all the codes down here then i'm going to delete it and then i'm going to i don't need this my app 
So uh, we are going to use our own widget and that will be a uh, material app widget. All right, so before this, um, before we go on, we are going to set, if I take you back to the pop.dev website and we click on the readme tab, um, we are required to use a minimum SDK of 19. So I'm going to scroll down a little bit. See it right there. We have um, a minimum SDK as 19. So we are going to, you know, go back to our Android Studio, and then we are going to go to Android. You know, click on the Android tab. I'm going to click on App. Then I'm going to open the build.gradle. I'm going to double click on it to open. Then here we are going to scroll down a little bit under default config. We are going to ch change our minimum SDK version to 19. So we are going to save it. Then we are going to close this. We're going to close the popspec.yarn. Then now on our main.dat, under our material um, app. So what we're going to do right now is that we are going to um, use the home property. Now on the home property, we are going to use um, a scaffold widget. Okay, so now inside our scaffold widget, what we're going to you do right now is that we are also going to use the, we are going to use the body property. And on the, on the body property, we are going to um, use a, safe area widget now on the safe area widget what we're going to do is that we are going to use the child property on the child property we are going to um, use the web view um, widget now inside the web view widget we are going to initialize a url that's the url that's of the website that we that we want to convert to Android app and iOS app. So we are going to say initial URL and then um, I'm going to go back to my web browser. Now we have a sample website here that we want to use to convert into um, iOS app and Android app. So I'm going to copy it and then go back to my Android studio. I'm going to paste it right here. Okay. So now for the website to work optimally on an Android app and iOS app, we are going to um, set a JavaScript mode to unrestricted. So for me to do that, I'm going to use the JavaScript property. I'm going to type JavaScript mode and then JavaScript mode um, dot unrestricted. Okay, so I'm going to save what of my work. And then um, there's this there's this debug banner that used to display somewhere um, on the app when you run it. So um, I don't need that. I'm going to um, get rid of that. So what I'm going to do right now is that I'm going to say debug show check mood banner. I'm going to set it to false. Okay. So once we do that, then we are ready to test our app. So I'm going to start my emulator. So for me to do that, I'm going to click on device manager. So on the device manager, I can choose to use um, any of this will do. So, okay, I think we have one running already. Um, let's see, let's just open it. We're going to go to um, let's close the device manager tab. Let's go here, click on emulator. All right, so we have it running already. So what we are going to do right now is that we are going to go here and run the main.dat file. So let's see how our app will look like on our um, mobile app. So for the purpose of this demo, we are going to use the Android emulator to test the app. So it's going to work well and it's going to work both on the Android and the iOS. Okay.
so currently I don't have um, what it takes to test it on the iOS um, platform so I'm just going to do with what I have which is the Android emulator okay so um, our app has been loaded successfully so what I'm going to do I'm going to minimize this so that you can see it very well okay so this is an app it has loaded correctly um, you can see the logo the navigation menu also click here okay you see it right there and then you can you know click here set this see so everything is working very well so that is our app you can go back to the home page okay so i can scroll down like this let me open you no know, few features on the app so that you can see that everything is working very well so what i'm going to do i'm going to click on this okay so this is how it works everything is working correctly if you like you can zoom it right here to see how the website looks like that's the zoom part you can go back to home click on the logo all right you can return it back so guys this is how to convert uh, your website into ios and android app using flutter web view thank you so much for watching if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel please click on the subscribe button if you like, if you like the video click on the like button and also turn on the notification bell thank you so much for watching see you in my next video bye